you know, I've told all the players the same thing. Be ready to go. So hopefully they will be. Have you made a decision on the starting quarterback regardless yeah, of what you I've said? I've told everybody to be ready to go. Yeah, but there's a difference. <clears throat> what you tell them and whether or not you made a decision is a well, Let you know on Sunday. Okay. I told every player to be ready to play. So see how things go. I've told all the players to be ready to go. So See, that's just be dumb. Ready. And maybe he I mean, the Well, I mean, yeah, they're all ready to go. They all need to be ready to go, but we have a depth chart. And the most important position on that depth chart is quarterback. You have to know who the starting quarterback is. And look, if it were any other team, I would scoff at this because as of today, when they had their first main practice in advance of Sunday's game, and they practiced yesterday, so it would have happened yesterday as well. Any other team, someone is going to blab. Somebody on the practice field, whether it's a player, a coach, a staff member, whoever, someone's going to say who got the bulk of the reps with the first team, and then we'll know who the starter is. Bill Belichick is one of the few that has the whole organization so pressed tightly under his thumb that no one will say anything, that he'll know who spoke. He'll find out who spoke. He's got them all brainwashed into behaving like robots when it comes to saying nothing to anyone. Will Greer was asked about it yesterday, whether or not he got any first team reps on Tuesday. And he said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say, I'm not saying anything. So maybe he can keep it under wraps until he wants us all to know who the starter is. But at some point we'll know. Is he going to do a revolving door? Is he going to is he going to let Mac Jones play until, you know, he fails to score points and then put in Bailey Zappi until he fails to score points and then put in Will Greer until he fails to score points? I don't know. But I think any of the three could play. And Shereen, maybe all of the three will play. At this point, it you know, where do you get your motivation to go win when the season's lost and there's a generally accepted understanding that he isn't going to be back next year. This is tough for everybody in the organization. You're just playing out the string. You're playing the role of spoiler. And, you know, even the the idea of tanking doesn't matter if everyone's gone. It's going to be somebody else who's using the higher draft pick. The whole situation is strange, and it's the first time we've ever seen it happen to a team that was once, and not that long ago, great and has now completely fallen apart and is just in shambles. And I think most of the people in the organization can't wait for the season to end. Yeah, and you missed Malik Cunningham, who I think we think is a, at least a part-time quarterback. So when you have four quarterbacks, Mike, you have no quarterbacks. And, you know, Bill O'Brien actually said it's hard to get four quarterbacks ready. You have to get two quarterbacks ready, and that's it. So we would suspect that it's going to be either Mac. Jones or Bailey Zappi and because Mac Jones has started every game this year and continually gets benched three benchings in 10 games I would expect that he would start again this week and probably get benched again in favor of Bailey Zappi again but whatever they're doing but you're right if it was any other team you know I I think we look at it and say well they need to to tank and move on but Bill Belichick's not going to tank And it is going to be somebody probably next year who's going to probably benefit from this team because I don't think they're going to win many more games this season, Mike. This is a team to me that looks like a disaster. So it's on fire. I don't know how you put out that fire. I wouldn't suggest that Bill Belichick urinate on that fire, but maybe that's the way they go. Well done. Well done. Um, And look, the only motivation that Bill Belichick has at this point is to keep amassing wins even if it's just one more the rest of the year it gets him closer to Don Shula if as many assume he continues coaching next year because what else is he going to do then he's he's got fewer games to catch Don Shula wherever he might land in 2024 that's going to be the story of the offseason and it's going to unfold fairly quickly I believe who is going to make a play for Bill Belichick if anyone if he gets fired right after the season ends, that will mean that during this period of time where everyone knows he's available in de facto trade, no one worked out a deal with the Patriots and they just decided we're moving on. We're not going to get anyone to give us anything for Bill Belichick. 
see you later, and they figure out who the next coach is going to be. All right, we're going to – Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.